Hello guys, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, Saturday, March 12th, 2022, and I am in my book and media store, and I just finished. <laughs> my sale just finished, um, today was solid, today was really good, today was really good. It started out slow, and then slow, and then slowly started picking up and got pretty busy towards the end. Actually got busier after about two o'clock. But um, it was really great, not only because it was busy, but also because I had another influx, excuse me, of new people. And I'm talking about at least three, that I can remember right now off the top of my head, at least three people who were really excited about finding my place and who bought a good amount of stuff and said they would definitely be back and even would tell other people and bring other people and that type of thing. So those are my favorite customers. They're excited, number one, happy with, with what I have to offer here, buy a good amount of stuff, uh, are excited to come back, and, and, what is that, the quadruple threat? And are going to either tell other people to come or will actually bring other people with them next time. So those are the best customers. Um, I mean, anybody that shows up consistently is great, but all of those are really awesome. By the way, I need to get some new dividers because people keep putting records on top of my flimsy dividers. What I started doing with some of them, look at that, is doubling them up. So I'll put two. What I need is to find uh, plastic record dividers that are clearly they're not going to bend over or, or get bent anyway side note so yeah that's the best customer i had three of those today and i had some other new people come in as well that's why i really like saturdays because the signs that i have out on the street always bring people in whether it's the ones i have right in front of uh the entryway or the ones on the street corner where there's thousands of people throughout the whole day driving by um always catches somebody or some people who come in. So that's really good. So great sales today, new people, excited, awesome. Also, which I didn't mention yesterday, yesterday, as in Friday, on eBay, I had 12 sales, 12, 12. <laughs> they just kept coming in and I had some really nice, juicy, big sales as well. Um, so that was just a side note that was really exciting yesterday, uh, especially considering that yesterday was not nearly as busy as today was. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. So that was really fun. Uh, really fun really, but um, great to see. eBay, you just never know. You never know. Sometimes I can only have a couple sales and then on a Friday I'll have 12 sales. And I had had one Wait, yes, no, that's 13 actually. I had 13 sales, sorry, 13, because there was one really early in the morning. Um, and I had a couple today. So we'll see what happens by Monday morning, how many more come in. Now, the video, <laughs> now that I've talked about all of that, is about me selling random knickknacks, not really tchotchke, tchotchke, tchotchkes, but I forgot how to say the word, um, but, random stuff that I find either that I get in donations or that I when I buy uh, books or whatnot in bulk I will come across random stuff that is not that's kind of related um, related to media but not always exactly media so for instance I've come now of course these are things that are still here and haven't sold but it just reminded me that I had had um, I think they were blank DVDs to record on I believe they were all DVDs. There might have been some CDs, but they were blank, unopened, um, recordable DVDs. And this guy bought all four of them, and they'd been sitting there for probably over a year. <laughs> uh, and yeah, he bought them. Um, and I will have that happen randomly, that people will just buy stuff that's been sitting for a long time in general, but also um, random stuff. So as an example, right now I have these really cool... I think they're really cool. Vintage photos. We've got this one of this lady. And this is from somebody in 
Minneapolis, Minneapolis. I think this is the coolest one of all of them. But this one here, with these guys, and they're, what are those called, bolo hats? Their little dog. Does that say something? What does it say? Wheat? Not sure. I thought those were really cool photos. And then I've got these two, another stern looking woman. I don't know, maybe there's some photograph, vintage photograph uh, experts out there that'll see these and, and say, oh, 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 you should sell those for more money. Those aren't worth $5, those are worth $25 or, I don't know. I just never bothered. I just put them in my local sale. These haven't sold yet, but a lot of people comment on them. Then I have stuff like this, political cards from 1996 and 2000, comic characters, famous faces. People have picked those up, but no one has bought them yet i have this playing card which is still sealed four bucks um oh i've got this i just put out for this sale a couple of people have looked at it it's a photo album old school photo album remember those that uh instant stick album full coded so you would just pull this back and put your photos in there if you grew up in the 80s you probably remember those <laughs> actual photos that you would have to print off and I just look at on your phone or on your computer. Uh, what else? So just little stuff here. Well, those are books, technically. Reader's Digest. I've got things like maps, and I have sold maps. I've sold many maps here. This is a bullet journal. It's got little bullet points. Another map. So just kind of random stuff. Some more maps. Popular mechanics. I've got a lot of, um, oh, like this I just put out. Les Miserables, the program for it, 25th anniversary. This was uh, Wicked. So um, today uh, somebody bought a bunch, well not a bunch, like three of the um, CD box sets that I had here. Some of them have been sitting for a while. I have foreign language stuff here. This is mostly uh, random magazines, different stuff. Yeah, so, so when you have a store, there's see a... Well, any store, really. You could apply it to any retail store, but a bookstore, media store, you can definitely put that kind of stuff, and people like it. People buy it all the time. Um, I'm always surprised by how much of that stuff I actually do sell. Oh, also, I've, I've been putting uh, some comic books, which I think I mentioned before. I only have a handful, but it's a growing collection. It's all of them right there. And I've got uh, all these old magazines and whatnot. Um, so, so yeah, that kind of stuff does well. If I come across random stuff, I always think, you know, it's best to put it, uh, in my local sale because it'll probably sell at some point, if not immediately at some point. And it's nice to have variety. I find that the more variety I have, the more likely that someone will walk in and actually buy something and not walk out empty handed. It does happen from time to time, but considering how many items I have in here of media and some other random things, it's uh, it's rare that somebody walks in that's new and doesn't buy something. I had a couple people walk in today and not buy anything, but they were the worst kind. Um, you know, if you get a customer in who, not to you directly, but is come, you know has something negative to say about what you have, you know, loudly enough that I can hear it and then doesn't say anything to me. Neither of them say hello or look at me or anything like that. Um, I'm always glad when they leave. <laughs> so I try not to dwell on that, but um, well, I don't dwell on it, but it's, it's nice to have those people leave and not come back. It always just blows my mind, you know, how rude people can be. But, um, but anyway, I digress. So overall, it was really great today. Hold on one second. And these were the great days when, um, oh, also, yeah, when I have a good amount of people come in, especially new people that are excited, but also I had one of the people, a couple that came in that was excited, they, they traded some stuff in. So I got some great video games and some books as well. Um, I always love to get video games in so that my backstop continues to grow. 
<laughs> and uh, I don't have any, uh, or it doesn't seem like I will be running out of video games anytime soon, even putting out about 15 or so a week. Uh, and slowly, that will slowly grow my existing inventory so that when new people come in, they see that I have a large selection. Um, the question that people continue to ask me, even new people, is do I put out new things every week? And that always, I continue to mention it in the video, in the vlog, but it does, it does grind on me. Um, because, yeah, because then it just feels like, oh, well, depending on what you say, we might not come back or for a while. And I get it, you know, every single week. I don't expect everybody to come back every single week. And some people do come back every week, but it's, you know, it, it's understandable <laughs> that you want to make sure that some new stuff is coming out, especially when you look through everything. But at the same time, it's like, yes, I do put on new stuff. That's one of the most difficult parts of this, having this business, is making sure I have enough to put out. I always have tons of books. Not a problem with books. It's always a problem with finding space for them. But I've come to the point now, I'm really coming to the point now because the bathroom where I store the books is starting to fill up, is that I'm just gonna really get ruthless about pulling stuff off the shelf that hasn't sold and just, you know, sticking other stuff in there. Basically, whatever I get in, I go to that section and if there's no room, I'm gonna pull stuff that's been on the section in the section for a while. That's just how it's gonna be, guys. I know you're gonna cry about it. But uh, if it doesn't have a section in particular, I'll make room for it. Uh, because it's just it's just time for me to get a little more have a little more turnover on the books um, put more books out because that's the thing is I don't have an issue getting more books I can always get more and more and more books especially going to the couple sources I have every week it's not a problem basically uh, yeah so that's where I'm gonna be with books so today was a great day if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you like to to content about uh, reselling books and media online on eBay and Amazon as well as in my local sale here which is evolving I'm in week 10 of being open every week Friday Saturday and Sunday so definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video stay safe take care